The MBTA selected Kleinfelder to be the prime for the Vertical Transportation Improvements Project and what that entails is coordinating a, a large team um, of various disciplines um, from architectural, structural, mechanical, electrical, pretty much a full array of disciplines to not only improve the existing elevators within five stations, but also to bring in new elevators uh, to allow for redundancy within the system, um, which will help with the reliability of the, the elevator system as whole, the ac accessibility system. The disciplines specific to Kleinfelder that were utilized on this project were architectural, civil, and geotechnical. The MBTA's primary problem was that there was a community outcry to change or upgrade their elevator system um, system-wide across the all train uh, stations. The issue came to light with a, a settlement agreement with the Boston Center for Independent Living where they had many sort of demands that needed to be met. The MBTA was faced with complaints from the community about the reliability and the condition of the existing elevator system. They were challenged to not only upgrade these elevators, but in the process not disrupt the access for everyone. Kleinfelder was brought on board to really help them facilitate these upgrades without shutting down the system as a whole or sitting, you know, shutting down any particular station's elevator for access. I mean, one of the greatest complexities of this project is that the train service needs to continue. It, we can't stop or shut down an entire line to do this work. Um, you know, the, the disruption to the community, the disruption to people with um, disabilities um, is just too great. This project needed to be constructed without interrupting the service. All the existing elevators in the system were undersized. So in order to enlarge these elevator cabs, we were asked for at several different stations to create redundancy by creating a second set of elevators so that when the time came to improve the existing elevator, there would be an elevator in place. And therefore, access would not be disrupted for anyone. One of the main challenges that we face on the Vertical Transportation Improvements Project was the, um, the age of the system itself. Park Street Station, being the oldest station in America, has created quite a few challenges based on not having many documents of what was existing. So trying to thread a elevator into infrastructure multiple levels without knowing everything that's in there <laughs> creates a challenge because you run into obstructions during construction that you are faced with relocating or adjusting, um, which can severely impact both budget and, and schedule. But we've worked really hard to mitigate those impacts by creating solutions um, rapidly a as they come. Like we've had to relocate stair, entire stairways and, and things like that. The lighting levels themselves, we, we've raised them quite a bit to make sure that they're not too dim. You know, all of the signage and everything is, um, it has braille. So it's at the very least meeting the ADA minimum in that regard. Another challenge that we face is all the various um, organizations that are involved in the process. Um, community organizations, the cities themselves, various utility companies and coordinating with them. A third challenge would be that the MBTA is a publicly funded agency. Their budget is um, pretty limited for this kind of work and um, it's, very, it's very specific work. There, there's no um, economy of scale in this sense. It's, it's so particular that uh, the expense have a tendency to, to be pretty high and we worked with them um, very closely to keep that in check um, to stay under budget. The required elevator sizes for, for this project created a, a great challenge, especially when you think about the layers of infrastructure and utilities that we have to penetrate to in order to put you know, a vertical element through all these layers of, of infrastructure w without disrupting any of the um, 
the utilities or, or the, the system itself, trying to not relocate you know, a gas main or um, a sewer line and threading the needle with this, an elevator shaft to bypass those layers. Safety was a very big challenge as well, um, maintaining um, public safety, but also um, from the aspect of uh, creating it in the design as well. Um, these elevators ha all have, are required for the settlement to be as transparent as possible. So we have a large component of glass in each of the elevator shafts as well as the cabs and we also have a heightened level of security for cameras and that system integration as well. I think it's really exciting to be able to, you know, bring Boston and Cambridge um, as far as the transportation system into the 21st century. It's, it's just very exciting to be able to help um, bring that um, up to date and, and current and even surpass what what's uh, required within ADA.